Welcome and thank you for joining me in our continued series of Walk Through the Windows at Our Lady of Peace Church. I'm Deacon John Mang and would like to share with you our window for today entitled Faith in Christ as Savior. Faith is represented in this window in a number of ways, beginning at the top with a jeweled cross. And depicted in this glass are the jewels on the cross, which represent the five wounds of Christ. Pope Francis has mentioned the five wounds of Christ on numerous occasions and offers this. Look at the wounds of Christ, enter into those wounds. By those wounds, we were healed. Do you feel bitter? Do you feel sad? Do you feel life just isn't going the right way? Look to the wounds of Christ in silence. Meditating on the five sacred wounds of Christ became popular in the 12th and 13th centuries, but it also enjoyed a resurgence in the 20th century with the growing attention to the divine mercy devotions of St. Faustina. She wrote this, when it seems to you that your suffering exceeds your strength, contemplate the wounds of Christ. Below the jeweled cross, we see a pelican, and some might find the pelican a peculiar symbol of our faith, but the pelican suggests Christ's atonement for sin. The pelican is an ancient symbol of faith predating Christianity, and legend holds that a mother pelican wounded herself, striking her breast with her beak to feed her young with her blood, thus preventing their starvation. However, the selfless act resulted in her sacrificing her own life in order to save her young. The pelican became a symbol of the passion of Jesus and of the Eucharist. Below the image of the pelican is an orb or a circle containing Greek letters, which we interpret in English as I-C-X-C-N-I-K-A for the phrase, Jesus Christ conquers. The I and the C are the first and last letters in Greek for Jesus. And the X and C are the first and last for Christ. The N-I-K-A is a word for conqueror. Thus we have Jesus Christ conquers. This window serves as a wonderful reminder of who Jesus is and makes me mindful of a hymn in Christ alone and our need to place our faith and trust in him. If you'd like more information on what the church teaches regarding faith, take a look at the Catechism of the Catholic Church in paragraphs 142 through 165. We remember that faith is a gift of God, a supernatural and virtue infused by him. Before this faith can be exercised, we must have the grace of God to move and assist us and must have the interior helps of the Holy Spirit. In difficult times when our faith may be shaken, we join with the apostles as recorded in Luke chapter 17 and echo their words. The apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. Through this difficult and uncertain time, one thing we know for certain, that Jesus Christ has conquered sin and death and he is our Lord, Redeemer and Savior. St. Paul said in Galatians chapter two, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of Man, who loved me and gave himself for me. I'd like to thank you for joining me today at our continued series, A Walk Through the Windows at Our Lady of Peace Church. And I'd like to leave you with this thought and prayer from Psalm 122. For the sake of my brothers and friends, I say, peace be with you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I pray for your good. May God grant you peace and blessings. Thank you.